Hello guys and welcome to Medi's Tech Circle. In today's video I want to talk about the new Good Luck 2018 application. So if you don't know what is Good Luck, so Good Luck is um, an, an application from Samsung which um, gives you the option or uh, you can customize many different things on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So the last time we have seen Good Luck was in 2016 and um, 2017 there was no good luck for the Nougat update but now for the Oreo update good luck 2018 is available. So if you live in South Korea and the United States you can install good luck pretty easy so I just will decrease the brightness so that you can see much more. So you can go straight to the Galaxy App Store and search for good luck and yeah, if you have, uh, if you are lucky and you are living in the U.S. or South Korea, you can install the Good Luck application from the Galaxy App Store. But if you don't, like me, so I live in Germany, um, you have the possibility to, yeah, to install all these different applications from a zip file. So I will link down below the link to this zip file. You will install every single AP APK. And um, when you have Nova Launcher, or there is also another um, application to do shortcuts or to create shortcuts, you can go to widgets. So I, for example, have Nova Launcher installed. You can search this for this activity launcher, and then you will search for every single good luck um, activity. So for every single good luck service. So um, I will show you some. So for example, um, yeah, I will scroll down and show you them. So one of them is Lockstar. So you will hold down or uh, just hold down this one and drag it on your home screen. So Lockstar is one of them. I think Quickstar is another one you have to create a shortcut to get to this application when you, after you have installed all application from our APKs from the zip file. I think Quickstar is also one which will not appear automatically on your app drawer or home screen. So I think you have also to create a shortcut for this one. I think also you have to definitely do a shortcut for the routines app. Also the task changer will not appear automatically as an app after installing every single APK from the zip file. So here I suppose you also have to do um, or to drag and drop it as a shortcut. So always on this arrow and then the um, drag and drop this um, application on your home screen. So sorry that I don't know exactly which um, services you have to put on your home screen because I've done this I think two days or three days ago and um, some of the APKs you install will automatically appear also in your app drawer. So yeah, these are the one. So the Good Luck app, which does nothing, except you are living in the US, you download this over the Galaxy app, so this would be an, another whole story. So there you would have all these apps included in this application. But I think when you install the APKs from the zip file, we'll get Edge Touch, Good Luck, Ad Lightning, Edge Lightning Plus and One Hand, hand Operation Plus. The rest where I showed you, you can do this with Nova Launcher, you can create shortcuts and you will get these apps. So um, Quickstar, Lockstar and Task Changer. So yeah, let's get right into it. So um, I want to show you the first one, which is the Task Changer. So maybe you have already seen that here the multitasking looks similar to Android P and in my opinion that's really cool so it runs really smooth um, and the cards you can see are now much bigger than in the standard view so um, yeah you see better a preview of the screen what's going on in this app you have also the possibility to hide the content so if you don't want that someone reads for example or see your SMS messages here in there when you scroll through your multitasking apps, you have the ability to hide the content and you will see that now um, the screen or the preview of the application is with this black 
preview image so that you can hide sensitive content here and to yeah to close it just swipe up or down so this is no um no big deal you can also um hold down an application okay so this is not multi window supported but for example whatsapp you have the ability to drop it here for a pop up view or yeah that's it so you have also these basic things here so let's jump into the task changer settings so here you have an option for example to change the um, animation so you have a cube out thing which i really like because it's nothing too basic so um, it's definitely something else so not the same or similar thing like the android p developer preview for the pixel devices so this is something which looks um, amazing on its own way so this is great you have a mini mode so here you can make these cards a little bit smaller so this is also ha pretty handy if you have small hands and you often use your device with one hand you can also turn this off and you can turn off the task changer setting and you will get back easily to the normal multitasking um, UI. The next one is Quickstar. So on Quickstar you have many different options. So for example you can change the appearance of your info center. So here you have recommended ones and here you can have your own coloring so you create can create your own variations. So let's edit this one to show you what you can do or I will create a new one that's better. So the first color you can choose is for example you see here in the example for some for the active um, tiles so for the active options or settings then you have the second color which will change the text and the um, color of inactive settings so let's take a crazy color so let's take a green one then you will have the option to change the background color so yeah let's take for example uh, yeah let's take a black one so just like this and then you have the ability to choose the background and transparency so you can make it completely transparent but maybe this will um, not be easy to read something in the notification shade you can make a blur effect so that the the background will be blurred out here from your wallpaper or your app which is beyond the notification shade you can also choose a dim effect so that you know that your notification um, shade is pulled down and much more so this is a really nice option here you can also change this to off and you will have your basic setting here Th then you have the simple indicator setting so you can choose which things um, should be shown you so if the alarm app or the alarm icon should be shown or the battery icon so you can everything you can select and disable if you don't care about certain um, system icons in the status bar the next thing is notification multi window so this is basically when you hold a notification um, app icon here normally you should then see um, an option so I don't know yeah here you should get this option to go directly in uh, pop-up view so this is also a great option the next thing is Logstar so here you will have many different settings to choose from so you can edit your current style you can select different appearances you can make six app shortcuts you can select where they should appear where the clock should be and much more you can select different customized um, backgrounds here you can also choose one from a gallery you can choose the clock appearance you can select which s text should be shown you can disable the status bar and much more so this is also really great to have one hand operation gives you the option option to have here a handle where you can tap on it to get um, you know virtual home home keys so if you don't want to use them and you have the ability to swipe for example to go back 
edge lightning plus gives you much more edge lightning options so also really cool so you can check them out. In edge touch you can select sensitive zones to not be touched during some operations. So this was a quick look at Goodblock 2018. If you wish that I will go more in detail, please let it in a comment down below. Thanks for watching and bye.